Greetings. Welcome to another episode of Man Cave Meals. Today, Tanya and I took a trip up to Asheville, stopped at the Chop Shop Butchery, and we picked up a couple of dry-aged ribeyes, and we're going to grill those up for dinner. Okay, folks, it's not often that I get to go to a, a real butcher shop, because we just don't have one that accounts for much around here. So, like I said, today's trip to Asheville to the Chop Shop Butchery Looks like it's paid off. I've got a couple of really nice looking dry aged ribeyes here. We're going to run that and let these guys rest up for a while. These are really big ribeyes. Nice thick. So we're going to rest them out at room temperature for a little while while I get the grill ready to go. Okay folks, we've got the char griller acorn here set up. We're going to put the one on. As you know, one of these gets done well done, so it's going on first. And these are thick, so we're going to have to cook them for a while and uh, then move them over to indirect heat to finish them off. So we'll be back after we get the second one on. Okay, it's time to flip the well done one after we burke the grill. let that one continue to cook we'll be back okay now it's time to get the medium rare going I'm gonna move this well done one over to the other side of the grill and drop mine on we'll be back okay it's time to give mine a flip medium rare we'll let it keep cooking for a little bit and we'll be back okay folks there we have it two dry aged ribeyes well done unfortunately and medium rare use the thermo pen to check the temperatures in these i am not used to cooking steaks this thick so uh i'm gonna pack this stuff up take it up and uh we'll have a look at what the medium rare one looks like on the inside We'll be back. Okay, I know this is kind of hard to see in this light here, but there is medium rare. So uh, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to shut down and uh, we're going to go eat. Until next time, Man Cave Meals.